Hi everybody. So what I want to talk about now, so you should have your projectile finish. You should have copied the code. It's either going to be a clone or it's going to be an original depending on what you wanted to do. The important part in all of these projects is that you are experimenting, that you're trying to read the code, and that you're trying to figure it out. You want to mess around and tweak things. So what I want to talk about now is how to create a villain. I know in the demonstrations I, I showed you everyone saw that was that making comments and asking questions so I want to go over that right now so in this code right here I've disconnected the the villain code that I made that you can recreate or you could try a couple different things so right now I've got my hero he's animating when I press the keys and I've created this little fireball I've also added a sound effect which we cover in the other video but what I want to do now is create a villain so right here I just have the basic scratch cat as my villain and well, one thing, I know that I want the villain to react when we hit him. So I'm going to create code for that. And I want my villain to move around. So we've got some really basic code for that. So for the moving around, what I did is I brought in two glide to areas. So And then I brought in a green operator to make it random. Because I didn't want him to go at the exact same speed all the time. So right now, this code is pretty basic. It's forever loop. It's going to glide from this area at the top of the screen to this area at the bottom of the screen. So when I press play, now he's moving. He's going to move at, at a completely different speed each time. Sometimes it's going to take five seconds. Sometimes it could be really fast and, and um, go in just half a second. So that's good. And he's it's OK. So it's moving back and forth. But there's no reaction when he gets hit. So what we want to do is create a reaction. So I, I took a second and I was kind of looking around and, and playing. So I came up with this code. There's a lot of different ways to do this. Um, you could maybe reduce their size every time they get hit. I think that'd be rad because then at a certain time they're just gone. And maybe that could be your victory condition. We'll get into that soon. But what I went with is I just wanted to have a little visual effect. I want you to experiment. Play around. Think about it. What do you want your villain or your object? I know I was... Um, I think uh, Mally was doing some basketball, right? So what's his object going to be? It looks like it's going to be a hoop. How is he going to create an interaction with that? How are you going to create an interaction with in your game? And these are important game design ideas. So what I put here is forever loop. If touching fireball sprite, and remember this code is on the villain. It's important where your code is. So if my Bowser or my villain sprite here touches the fireball, what happens? It's going to play the sound that I brought in in the, the sound clip, the blah, blah, blah. So it gives a sound effect, and then it's going to repeat 10 times, and it's going to change the color between negative 20 and 20. It's kind of a red yellow, I was kind of messing around. And then it's going to set the color back to normal. So when I attach that code now, so now I've got my, my villain who's moving randomly between the two spots, and when I hit him, he flashes. You see, it's kind of that red yellow sort of thing. So that's just what I came up with as a, as a basic idea. I wanted him to respond a little bit. Um, and then lastly, once you've got these two things, so or more, whatever you decide you want, what you would probably want to do is change the villain sprite. So I, here's the default cat sprite. Since it's, since it's uh, Mario, I, uh, I went with Bowser, right? So I moved him up. And all your code will still be there, still changing colors, and it makes the sound effect when it gets hit. And I think so these are where we start getting to some pretty decent interactions, right? So in the next video, we're going to have the villain make a fireball or make, make an attack. So then there'll be some interaction where both your character and the villain, you have to dodge them at the same time you're hitting them. And then we're going to have to attach some life totals or maybe, uh, and we'll have to decide how we want to do that. So this is how you do a villain. I'm excited to see what you guys make. And I will be back Friday.